Hi, everybody. I'm here from Liberty Rising Wellness Services. My name is Ruth O'Donnell. I'm a functional movement specialist and I teach yoga and I'm also a Reiki practitioner. I'm delivering your self-care tip today and what you'll need for our practice is a tennis ball. So we want you to know that there are so many wonderful things you can do for your body. In these times when maybe we don't necessarily have the full capacity to participate in our longer fitness practices or our wellness practices, there are a few things you can do that take very little time and can have an overall uh, effect on your entire body. So grab your tennis ball and let's get on the mat. What do you say? We're going to be working with the feet today. The feet are often neglected. There are 26 bones in each of our feet and 33 joints. We often bind them in shoes for a majority of our day. And uh, we forget that we forget about them because they're such a long way away from our brain. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a short practice today where we roll our foot over the tennis ball. So go ahead and take your tennis ball, stand on your right foot and Set your left foot on the tennis ball. If you need the support of a wall or something to hold your balance, make sure and do that. And then we're just going to start by rolling the foot up forwards and backwards over the tennis ball. You might notice some sensation right away. Take your hands and put them on your belly to ensure that you're breathing. You're just getting a little bit of a lay of the land. So we're going to roll the ball forward and back forward and back, and I want you to find a tender spot on the bottom of your foot. When you find a place that feels particularly tender, stop. Put your hands on your belly or on your chest so that you can ensure that you're breathing. And then stay there and put a little gentle pressure on that tender spot. Let's take two or three breaths here. You're encouraged to take some audible exhales that will relieve some of the tension in other parts of the body. So make sound if you need to do that. And then go ahead and find another spot. Particularly go to the arch of the foot or the midline of the foot and maybe the outside. And then find another spot where you want to spend a little time and then put some pressure there. Now you're the boss, you go slow and you pay attention. This is about feeling what's happening in your body. Take a couple breaths in that tender spot. Smooth out the edges of your breath. And notice if you can't get your breath, you probably are gone too far and you're pressing too hard. So back off a little, smooth out the edges of your breath, and do that a couple of rounds. Good. How about we change sides? So you're gonna roll out the bottom, you're gonna put the uh, weight on the left foot now, Stand there, get your balance, use uh, some other object for balance if necessary, and then start to roll the foot forward and backwards over the tennis ball. Now the tennis ball might get away from you and that's okay. Just bring it on back and start again. So you're just getting a little inventory, noticing the sensations in the bottom of the foot. You're probably gonna have a few spots that are more tender than the other. And then find a spot that feels particularly like it needs attention and stop there. Put your hand on your chest and your belly. Put a little pressure into the tennis ball and now make sure you're not jamming backwards in the knee joint on the opposite leg. And then breathe. Take a few rounds of breath as you smooth out the edges. Big full inhales and big full exhales. Go find another tender spot and then we'll do the same thing. Yeah, really good. Nice. And now we'll go ahead and take both feet, stand in the mountain pose, and let's just see if you notice any of the effects of the tennis ball on the bottom of the soles of your feet. You might feel some uh, lightness in the lower part of your body. Good. We're going to do that one more time each side, but we're going to change the, we're going to vary it a little bit. So this time you're going to bring your foot, you're going to put it on the ground, and you're going to lift the 
front side of your foot up and put the base of your foot on the tennis ball. Now this can get a little tricky. It can take some practice. But you're going to rotate the foot right and left. So now you're trying to make your way from the big toe side to the pinky toe side. Just rotating the foot left and right over the tennis ball. And you are in control of the pressure. And it takes some a bit of coordination, so it's really good for the brain, but also really, really good for the, the connective tissue in the feet, the muscles in the feet. And this can translate all the way up into the knee, to the hips, and even relax some of your internal organs in the belly. So one small exercise like this can be beneficial for the entire body, physiologically, and your mood. Take a breath. One more full inhale and one more full exhale. Good, rotating right and left. And then let's stand for a moment in the neutral position, the mountain pose, Tadasana. Take a breath. <sighs> and let's change sides. So you're gonna put your heel on the ground so it's nice and stable. The base of your foot is gonna, ro is gonna rotate right and left over the tennis ball. And then you're just gonna make your way right and left, right and left. Yeah. Remember, you can always put your hands on your belly and your chest to help you to monitor your breathing patterns. Sometimes if you have a little pain sensation, we have a tendency to really hold the breath. So this is the most beneficial if you can pay attention to smoothing out the breath as you rotate the ball over the plantar surface of your foot. Let's just take one more round left and right. Good. And then stand in the mountain pose and let's see if you can notice a difference. <sighs> Great. Well, that's a good job today. I'll look forward to seeing you again for our next self-care tip. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.